The Angola Educational Assistance Fund's mission is to facilitate the development of the Catholic University of Angola. Angola has been devastated by 30 years of civil war. Moving toward a peaceful future, the immediate human needs of its people are a necessary focus. But a recovered and thriving Angola will also require long-term goals. These goals will include the establishment of quality institutions of higher learning to educate Angolans in Angola. The war's lasting effects can be seen on its people. Angola has the highest amputee population per capita in the world, yet it remains a country of tremendous resources, from oil and cattle to diamonds and coffee. Angola's greatest resource, however, is its people, and the best way to help them develop their full potential is through education. The Catholic University of Angola is located in the capital city of Luanda on the war-torn site of a former convent. Current reconstruction is centered on repairing and outfitting the classroom buildings. The three pillars supporting this project are the Catholic Church of Angola, the Angolan government, and the business community. The AEAF helps to coordinate curriculum development and visiting professorships with universities and colleges in the U.S. and around the world. Working closely with Alexander Cardinal Donascimento of the Archdiocese of Angola, the AEAF raises funds to support the university. I would like to use this opportunity to greet all the people that can see and hear us. In this important moment in our history, I have the privilege to endorse any initiative that is very dear to me the establishment of the Catholic University of Angola. To build a better future, to consider all the tremendous possibilities present at this time, it is crucial that our human potential and sensibility, intellectual capacity, and artistic creativity be stimulated and encouraged. Every quality that the Creator instilled into human beings, making them so special in the universe, must be promoted. This is even more vital here in Angola. It is not difficult to envision the role that a university, and especially one which is based upon humanistic education, will play in helping individuals to fulfill not only our shared mission as humans, but their own personal development. The Angolan government and National Oil Company are major partners in this effort. Eu chamo Joaquim David e sou o diretor geral da Sona Angola, que é a Companhia Nacional de Petróleos de Angola. My name is Joaquim David, and I am the managing director of Sona Angola, the National Petroleum Company of Angola. To Sona Angola. The importance of higher education is easily demonstrated by the fact that we have a large number of Angolan students currently attending universities abroad, most of which are in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Portugal. It is obvious that to send students to these countries is extremely expensive for Sun and Gulf. For this reason, we welcome any initiative to improve the higher education system in our own country. And in this particular case, we are glad to support the founding of the Catholic University of Angola. Our involvement with this project, together with Citizens Energy, Energy Africa, Mobile, and Saga, is focused on creating a highly skilled Angolan workforce. The university is also very much aligned with the efforts of Sun Angol to constantly improve the quality of the petroleum industry of Angola. In reality, we feel that our efforts leverage the strength of the petroleum industry to benefit all Angolan people. Under the auspices of international oil companies, thousands of Angolans are schooled overseas at a cost of millions of dollars each year. Many of these students never return. My name is Bill Sokoski. I represent Energy Africa in uh, Luanda, Angola. Part of our efforts in this country is uh, for special projects. One project that we're very, very interested in, that we have funded uh, with the support and direction of 
of Citizens Energy in Sonangal is the Catholic University. This is a project that will help rebuild the country. This is very important and necessary for uh, Angola at this point in uh, their, uh, their history. Together, Angola's government, church, business and people are meeting the challenges of a post-war society. I would like to tell a brief story, which I believe is very significant to the founding of this university. As you may know, in 1982 I was kidnapped by the guerrilla movement UNITA. While in detention, I was approached by a very young soldier who told me, Bishop, when this war is over, Make sure that I and other young people like me will have the possibility to go to school and study. I have never forgotten his words. Right now, we are helping to fulfill the commitment I made then to the young soldier and to all the young people of Angola to promote an institution that will help people grow and develop while recognizing their responsibility to others. I do not want the Angolans to be photocopies of other realities, of other countries' ideas. I want Angolans to be Angolans. I would like Angolans to accept help, but to first be prepared to help themselves. It is a misperception that the Catholic University's educational vision will be based upon religion. Our primary goal is to help Angolans to be Angolans, and the university will represent a new possibility for this purpose, which will both respect and foster intellectual freedom of our people. On this occasion, I would like to address the United States, homeland of Lincoln, homeland of Kennedy, and I would like to tell this country that it has a mission to accomplish and that this mission is both a duty and a privilege at the same time. In June 1997, the Angolan Congress passed legislation designating three cents from every barrel of oil produced in Angola to fund secondary education in Angola. Mr. Prime Minister, it's Michael Kennedy. Good to see you again. I'm here to thank you on behalf of the Angolan Education Assistance, in which you so enormously helped by getting our degree passed recently and gazetted. The AEAF was started with financial support from Mobile, Norway-based Saga, Energy Africa, formerly Engine Limited, and Citizens Energy Corporation, companies with long-standing business in Angola and first-hand knowledge of the need and potential there. The Catholic University is a project of lasting progress and value. The Angola Educational Assistance Fund provides corporations, institutions, and individuals with the best possible vehicle for making a difference in Angola, allowing contributors to leverage their donations with a high degree of trust and efficiency. The purpose of the AEAF is to ask for your assistance in this important effort. The people and institutions of Angola are committed to rebuilding their country in peace, but they cannot do it without your help and the help of the international community. Join us as we invest in the future. Join us as we invest in the people of Angola. Nazaki. We raise our hands to you and ask for your help. Your help will make it possible for the Angola of the future to offer its thanks with both gratitude and self-respect. Thank you. Mm -hmm.